Welcome everybody. Welcome today in our, on our day 15, already half of the month, uh, where we're discussing about burnout and we're on day 15 of 30 days, 30 tips on burnout. And today our topic is what is not self-care because there's a big misunderstanding here and how we're going to start applying it in the correct way. My name is Vasya Sarandupul and I'm a psychologist and the founder of anti Loneliness, a company that helps and supports people when they're going through mental health struggles. So let's start talking about what is not self-care. Self-care is not doing your nails. Self-care is not going to um, going for shopping with your friends. Self-care is not watching a football match um, in the evening. Self-care is not doing any beauty, um, nail salon, whatever activity that you're doing. Yes, it can be that when it's part of a bigger plan, but it cannot be only that. What is, this is not self-care. One of the things that I usually hear people saying is that when somebody asks them for a favor or to ask uh, something to do uh, work-wise, or a friend asking for some help, they usually say, yeah, sure, if I can. That's a, that's a really big trap. That's something that can lead to burnout very easily. Why? Because I trust and I know for sure that there are many things that you can do. Yes, I know that you can help somebody solve a problem. Yes, I know that you can help your friend, support your friend when they ask you for your time. Yes, I, I, I know that you can uh, provide some time or advice for your colleague when they're asking. You can do many things. So the answer shouldn't be yes, because I can, but yes, because I have actually calculated and I have seen in a, in a more holistic way that what you're asking me is in, in tune with my needs at the moment and with my resources and with my energy and with my schedule at that moment. So it's not about, yes, I can, but it's more about, yes, I want to. And that's something that it's not going to deplete me from my energy and my resources, but it's something that I take from my abundance of energy and resources. So the main word, and probably you have heard it many times when we're talking about self-care, is boundaries. And boundaries, we mean not setting boundaries to other people, but more about setting boundaries to ourselves. Knowing when we say yes, because we want to and because we can do that and because we can provide that, and saying no when we cannot, when it's not to our benefit and to our mental health uh, benefit. So that's the main difference that we want. we really want to realize when we say yes and when to say no. And when we're saying yes or when we're saying no, it's not because we don't want to help somebody or because we are kind people and by saying no, it means that we're not. No, it's more about taking care of myself so that I can be happy and energized and full and then I can help somebody else. I remember I, I saw that in one of the series, uh, Netflix, the fundamentals of caring. And the first thing in the, fir the first episode, the guy, when he went to... Um, have lessons about how to become a carer, the first thing that they taught him was first take care of yourself. Otherwise, you cannot help anybody else. So that's the basic boundary, the basic thing that we want to, help, to, to realize when we want to apply self-care. Is this going to help me um, feel better? Or is this something that I will not have energy for myself later? Is this something that will affect my relationship or my family later? If I see myself as a human being with specific amount of energy and resources, then this is the moment when I can actually uh, realistically say if, yes, I can help somebody, support somebody or not. Not because of who I am, but what about, but, but more concerning my energy and my resources. We need self-care because that's the way we are going to heal from a burnout. We need self-care because that's the way that we're going to recover from burnout. So I want you to think about that. And please share with me your comments about self-care and about what we discussed today. 
and think about when is your boundary on in saying yes or no. Think about it. That's going to be really uh, useful for everybody to discuss and to um, brainstorm around our resources and our energy and how we're using them. Thank you very much for being here today. I'm going to send you a link. Uh, I'm going to put it in the comment about in the comments about different kinds of self-care and how you uh, how you can take some rest and how you can take care of yourself throughout the day. And uh, this is how you can see how many ways we have in order to provide ourselves with energy instead of draining ourselves from energy. Thank you very much for being here today. Take good care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your day.